Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the second. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. This could resonate around the full moon. It could resonate today. It could resonate tomorrow. It could resonate next week, whatever. Let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do we have for today? Seven of Swords. So the Seven of Swords is very sneaky behavior. We have somebody that is being very shady, very sneaky. They're hiding something. Uh, this is somebody that is very slippery, very sly, very skilled at deception. So looks like this guy, um, he may even have a weapon, okay? Um, the Seven of Swords, He's got Four of Swords in his hand, two on the ground. Um, somebody maybe, it feels like he's on the move. Uh, somebody might hear him. He might get heard. He might get caught. He's close to getting caught. He's very, very sneaky. Somebody is close by. This guy, um, can see somebody. So he's, he's stealing something or he, this is a he or a she. This person is, is a thief. Um, up to no good. So there is definitely somebody that is up to no good. All right. Um, I feel as though they're about to get caught though, because what I just sensed was somebody coming down, coming up from behind and catching this person. So it feels like this person has their arms full. They're looking in the wrong direction and they get caught. I, I just sensed somebody walking through that door and catching this person. So I feel like, uh, yeah, I feel like somebody's about to get caught. Um, ooh, Three of Swords reversed. Now, the Three of Swords reversed is a card of healing, letting the, letting the past hurts go, forgiveness, on the path to recovery. Hmm. This guy is looking at somebody that, and this may be weak. Uh, what is what the hell is going on? The Three of Swords reverse. This is this is um, well. The pain has already happened. This is letting go of the pain. Mm. Now this is uh, something happening very fast. Triumphant news arriving. Some sort of news is about to arrive. This is good news. Okay. Somebody's not going to get away with whatever they thought they were going to get away with. Which is interesting. Now this is betrayal. There's been some sort of betrayal. This is moving forward. And it feels like getting hit these are arrows like right so this is getting hit now this three of swords reversed is on the path to recovery it's time to leave the past hurts for forgiveness healing releasing pain Well, the Five of Cups, there is definitely some sort of sadness here. Uh, separation, or there's been some sort of separation. This person could be coming back after a betrayal. I don't know, that Seven of Swords could mean so many things. There is, this is positive, this is triumphant news coming in, good news coming in, but, or a message, there's a message that is coming, okay, the suffering is over, now this could be somebody slipping away in the night, okay, they're escaping, they're taking, they're leaving some things, they're not taking everything, they're taking very little, now the four of swords is like, could be the death of a situation, you know, this is taking their power back. They're leaving. So the Seven of Swords can mean so many things. This could be an escape, okay? You know, they're slipping out that door. So interesting. This could go so many different ways. 
It's at night, something happening at night. And this is like daybreak. It's morning, getting the news in the morning that somebody has escaped or they've stolen or who knows what. They've slipped away. Um, this, end, this is the end of suffering, okay? The Three of Swords reverse. It's over. Now, this is grieving. This is sadness. This is crying over the spilled milk, okay? Crying over the loss. There is some sort of news that is going to be arriving, but there could be some sadness that comes with that news. Now, this is regrets as well. So somebody may have some sort of regret, somebody that betrayed another person. They could be, ah, you know, coming with the truth because there's one sword in their hands. Maybe they got caught lying by another person. They were struggling with the two of swords on the ground. They were blocking their emotions. You know, perhaps they're deciding to honor their truth because there's one sword in this person's hand. Now, the four of swords, somebody has been extremely exhausted, overwhelmed, um, unhappy, having a hard time, thinking a lot, having a heart, maybe even sick, ill, okay? There's some sort of regrets, there's sadness, there's tears. Oh, two of cups reverse. Well, we definitely have a separation here. This is a separation. There's tears over a separation. But there's still an opportunity or, or there's another opportunity that is being missed. Okay, there's a reason because the Two of Cups is behind this person. We have an individual that is crying over a loss, but there's the two. There's an opportunity for a partnership that they're missing. But we have the Two of Cups reversed. There's been some sort of separation or there's going to be a separation. It happens at night by the looks of things. I feel like it's at night. Something happens at night. Um, now, the Two of Cups reversed is a detachment. There's a disconnection. Somebody is disconnecting. There's been some sort of, maybe there's been some sort of abuse or bullying or something like that. Now, the Two of Cups doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. It can be a friendship. It, there's a separation between two people and there's, there's regrets and there's sadness and there's grieving and, you know, there's a lack of, emotional content but there's still an opportunity for a partnership or there's an opportunity for another partnership okay but this could be self-deception as well we could go all day with just these cards this is leaving the past hurts behind on the path to recovery focusing on the future healing okay healing you know uh, Ooh, so this Ace of Cups is a new start in love. This is, and there, I feel like there's going to be some big tears, and we talked about this the other day, okay? I do feel like there's going to be, and there could be tears of, of sadness or tears of joy, okay? Um, but I do feel like there's going to be some tears. Now, with this Ace of Cups, that is heaven sent, Okay, this eight God gives you that cup of love. Okay, that's that's on that's an outpouring of emotion. Okay, it's a new start in love. This this is where things start to get better. Okay, and this is the rods of love or the arrows of love. We have somebody here that has been crying over a loss. They've probably been crying over a betrayal. Okay. They have. They've been moping. They've been wallowing. They've in their own, maybe it's their own self pity. Maybe they've been deceiving themselves, lying to themselves. You know, something like that. But this is leaving it behind. There's a, there's messages coming in, or there's movement forward with a new love. Okay, this is a new start in love. Okay, um, this is a separation, a detachment from somebody that you're not compatible with. This is a not compatible union because there's another opportunity for love. So this is what we have here. This is exactly what we have here. Somebody is going to be receiving a lot of messages, could be text messages or whatever it is from... I think it's a new love or it's a new 
a person or whatever. It's going to make you happy, put it that way. This is happiness. The moon, all is not as it seems. There's some sort of hidden forces here. Somebody's been hiding. They and, and I feel like they've been hiding as well. This person's about to 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 come in. They've been hiding. They've been hiding behind a wall. They have. And but they've received some sort of clarity. And, and, and they have because of that ace of swords in this person's hand. Somebody has been hiding behind a wall and maybe it's a wall of fear. Maybe they, I don't know what it is, but this person's about to take a risk because seven of swords is risky business. So this is somebody that is about to take a risk and it's about, and maybe this person was hurt in the past or something like that. But anyway, this is, is, uh, coming out into the open and it feels like they come they are somebody is about to come out into the open they're about to come out of hiding or something like that they're about to come you know out into the light there's definitely an opportunity for love here after a separation there's been some sort of separation that really broke somebody's heart okay this was a heartbreaking separation there was deception there was probably cheating there was betrayal but now there's another opportunity that is coming in and i think it's coming in fast but this is all is not as it seems. You need to tread carefully. And I do feel like there's fear here. We have an individual that is treading carefully because they've been so hurt in the past. Mm. Ten of Wands, reverse. Now this is making a conscious change to let go of a burden. It is. Somebody is is deciding to let go. This is something right around the full moon. It could happen any minute from now into the full moon. Somebody's going to be letting go. They have decided that they want balance. And they were in an unbalanced situation where there was a lot of disharmony. Okay? It'd be, it, there a lot of imbalance, a lot of disharmony, maybe even uh, poor health, okay, with this Ten of Swords reversed and the uh, Three of Swords reversed, like their heart can't take it anymore. This is making a conscious change to let go of the past hurts, to let go and move forward. So somebody is, is going to be facing their fears, and they're going to be moving forward into a new, uh, beautiful opportunity, okay? This is emotional happiness. It's even self-love. It's following your heart. Somebody's going to be honest with themselves where they weren't honest before. And they're going to be replacing their fear. They've been in a state of fear. They have. But now they're moving forward very, very quickly. And they're going to be, this is communication. Communicating with somebody. Um, maybe they, they uh, hurt this person or something like that. We have this person that has been crying or has been sad. That is going to be receiving some messages from an individual that is, is letting go of the past and they're ready to move forward. Hmm. Hmm. King of Pentacles reversed. Now the King of Pentacles reversed is somebody that is very materialistic, very shallow, very focused on, on money. Okay. Makes poor decisions. Is very, you know spendy, materialistic, uh, more interested in uh, money and drugs and gambling and doing things illegally to obtain money, doing whatever they can to uh, show their value, even if it's against the law, than love, 
Okay, so we have a very um, greedy individual here that is making a conscious change. There's some sort of serious deception here, though. There is, with the moon and the seven of swords. We have a liar, so I'm not sure who this liar is in this picture, but we have a thief, we have a liar. That has been all about money, okay? Very, very superficial. Now this person could get caught. Ooh, ooh, so because this person does things illegally, okay. We could have an individual here that is, now I'm changing the story, take what resonates and leave the rest. We have one individual here that is overwhelmed, extremely overwhelmed, maybe financially overwhelmed. They may be, they may be, this is like a scheme. They may be scheming something and it could be a Pisces, a Cancer, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or a Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is somebody that is taking action, okay? And this is financially based. So this is like st stealing money. So somebody is being deceptive and you're gonna, you're gonna, ha and their deception is going to be seen. It is going to be seen. I believe it is. This individual is going to get caught. I just know it. I just know it. And then I feel like this individual, maybe this is the one that catches them. Uh, if it has, just feels just, this is overwhelming. I can't believe this. It's like, I can't believe that I didn't see this. I can't believe that, that this has happened. You know, there's extreme regrets here. Hmm. Now the 10 of wands reverse, that is letting go of a, a huge burden dropping it freeing yourself this is freedom somebody is breaking free from an individual that has been lying to them and hurting them they're ready to leave it behind they're ready to leave that that heartache that pain behind so yeah and there's a big huge opportunity for love like right in front of them So I feel like you can expect to uh, receive some sort of communication from an individual that is now, it feels like this person is now looking for love. But they weren't giving before. Because there was some sort of manipulation. Interesting. Ooh, now this guy is reversed. So, yeah, there's been some control. There's been manipulation. We have an individual that was naive. Very naive. Okay, we haven't... This person wasn't listening, wasn't following their heart at all. They were controlled by society. It's, it's very, very clear. I think there's going to be... Uh, there could be some sort of... Uh, anger... Okay, there could be an upset that is coming. Okay, somebody could get really, really, really angry when they see what what uh, somebody is all about. Um, now, this is as losing ambition, losing drive, and having no drive, having no desire to keep going. Okay, so we have somebody that's giving up. We have somebody that is giving up. Okay. But this is somebody that is that is unreasonable, and this is conceited. So we definitely have an unreasonable, conceited individual here who has been manipulated. This person has been manipulated or hasn't been able to see clearly, okay, because there's been a shadow. The moon is, moon is represented by the shadow. There's been somebody that was hiding the truth. Somebody's going to get upset. By the looks of things, they I feel like there's gonna somebody's gonna get really really upset. Not putting in effort, giving. We definitely have somebody that is giving up. They are giving up. They're not gonna put in any more effort at all. And it feels like they're they've been taken advantage of. By a liar or a thief. Wow. Wow. 
now they're shutting down emotionally. They are. They're shutting their heart. Their heart is shutting down. They're shutting down emotionally. They're withdrawing. We have an individual here. It looks like it's a man to me. And I know you guys want to, you know, <laughs> a lot of readers want to make it resonate with as many people as they can, but I really don't give a shit. So anyhow, um, this is, it feels like it's a man here that is giving up. I think it's a masculine. I do. I feel like it's a masculine that is just like, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I want, I want this weight taken off my shoulders. I, I'm, I, I, he's reached the point of collapse. There's illness here as well. This is somebody that is weak. Okay. The king of wands is weak. And this is the heart shutting down, withdrawn, you know, re probably realizing that they're dealing with an individual that doesn't have good intentions as well. And I think it hurts. I think it hurts. So I think there's some sort of painful realization, you know, that it's time to let this go because healing is needed. I need to start the healing process. So anyway, I think there's some sort of lies that are about to be exposed. Somebody who's been getting away with it, they've been hiding. They've been hiding their truth, okay? And I feel like, or, or in denial even, okay? But I feel like we have a very materialistic individual that was hanging on. Maybe it was for the money or because they were naive or whatever it was. And now they're letting go. They're letting go. And I think that there's probably a difficult path ahead or it's been a very difficult path because it was uh, so unclear. It was so unclear. There was, the, you know, if you think about water, okay, the moon and you see the water here, just happen to look at it. You can't see what's below the surface. You can't. So I think that, that something was hidden very, very, very well. But I think that something is about to be revealed that was hidden that causes, I feel like it's almost like an uproar. And I don't need the tower card. It feels like it's time for me to let go of this. It's time for me to release. I can't do this anymore. I can't pretend anymore. I can't. So I do feel as though somebody is giving up on a loveless situation that they held on to for stability reasons and I think there's going to be a separation but this separation okay we see you have the two of cups here in reverse and we have two cups here and the ace of cups leads to a, a new love a big love okay and maybe it's even self-love okay um a new start in love there is a new start in love here there is Ooh, seeing clearly. Somebody is going to be receiving clearly. They're going to they're gonna see very clearly what they need to do. Okay? They're going to be making the choice. They're going to become clear that, that it, there's no more confusion. It's the end of confusion. It's clear. Somebody is receiving clarity about whoever it is that they've been dealing with. And it's giving them the opportunity to move forward very quickly. It's like all of a sudden with that eight of wands, they see a better, bigger opportunity for love. And I feel like they take it. So. Nine of Wands. Now the Nine of Wands is challenge. It's a challenge. It's challenging. It's a challenging time. We have a very wounded individual. This person has been wounded. Has been been in a and I knew that and I saw that earlier. This person has been um, having a hard time protecting themselves, uh, trying to decide, trying to open up. Probably refusing to let anybody in. In a state of confusion. But you notice there's, there's, there's opportunity for growth. There's an exciting opportunity that this guy has been uh, choosing not to take. Take a look at his face. That's got the, got the ace of wands right in front of him. It looks like he's been receiving messages because there's eight wands behind him. So he's been receiving some sort of messages or something from somebody. He's probably been ignoring them or not really communicating very much. And it's because he, and it could be a she, has been very wounded, okay? 
but it looks like things are growing or things are getting better. This guy has reached the point where, and I'm saying guy because it's a guy, but it could be a girl on the card, has reached the point where there's, it's too lonely. It's too lonely. And, you know, there's a lot, there's a big, huge opportunity for growth here. And I feel like they're just going to go for it. So I feel like you can expect to receive some messages from an individual that may have been maybe neglecting you. There may be some neglect here. This person was hiding behind their wall. But I think they're about to uh, face their fears and open up. I just, I just do. Um, I, I, I don't feel like this is somebody from the past, though. I don't. I feel like this is a new love. I think there's a separation with somebody that um, deceived you. I think that is what caused the wounding. And now somebody is seeing clearly that it, there's a big opportunity for love right in front of them. And they're making the choice. It's like the choice is made. I'm going for it. It's big. It's huge. I want it. It's beautiful. Done crying. So anyway, be prepared to receive some messages. Uh, and I think that the messages are going to come hard and they're going to come fast. Somebody has made a choice to step into uh, love. Love. Okay, this is a new start in love. I think it's going to be very emotional. I think it's emotional. It's it's not easy to open yourself up after you've been heartbroken. So, um, there is a new start in love here after a separation. Good luck.